So I figured I would just do a little quick thing <laughs> to address the one issue that I kind of had with with uh, this the update and how they did the expedition thing. So because we got the Atl Atlantic City expedition first, and all of the lore, not all of it, but most of the lore still existed, now that we got the quests, none of the quests were a surprise. So, I'm going to release this before I release all the, the quest lines, but two of them in particular, I knew how they were going to end because I already read all the lore on the terminals and in the notes. So it... When I got to those quests, it was just like, oh, this isn't going to be fulfilling because I know how it ends. And I don't... I'm hoping, at least, they don't do that in the future where they release an expedition and then half a year later, months later, they release... I think what it's six months they release the lore update because then that means I can't explore during the expedition to read stuff because it's going to spoil the quests as it did for this one none of these quests were too like they didn't catch me because I already knew what happens because I read it already and I'm trying to not spoil things if you haven't done the quest and you haven't read I don't want to just be like, this is what happens. Um, but yeah, none of it, none of it was, none of it was like a surprise. None of it caught, was like shocking. It was all like, oh, yeah, I know how this ends. Yep, know how this ends. Yep, got it. And it was, it was just, it would have been better had they not released them in the order they released it, is what I'm trying to say should release the story and the lore first and then the expedition second or at least if they release the expedition don't put any of the lore in there because people like me are going to explore because I love Fallout and I love exploring and I don't care for the expeditions <laughs> so when it came out I spent all of my time exploring and reading all the notes and everything because that's what I want I don't want grinding and that kind of just ended up ruining the story for me. Because as I said, none of it came to, a, to me as a surprise. It was all like, oh, yes, I've read this before. Mm-hmm. I know. And that's not what you want. You don't want your... <laughs> you'd want the people playing your quest to be like, no, I know exactly what's going to happen. And for some things, it's like, I think I know what's going to happen. But in this case, it was I know exactly what's going to happen. Because you've already told us the truth. And again, you'll see if, if you watch the videos throughout the week, you'll see what I mean. Uh -uh. Or if you've played through it, you'll see what I mean. That's it. That's my two cents. The only other problems I had were a couple of minor bugs that I just had to restart. Like, I had to server hop to fix them they weren't too crazy but other than that everything else has been fine just standing here on the roof of the rose room oh and the other thing uh, which i bring this up a lot they didn't need to use ingram mansion they literally could have threw them in the unfinished mansion And a location that is useless serves no purpose. Or change this location for the third time. Technically the fourth time. It had its default. Then it had been changed to be um, whatever it was, part of the cults. And then it got changed again to the in-between. And now it's the Rose Room. Honestly, they could have put them here at a location that has no purpose, has no lore, and kind of useless. Just just my other two cents here. Uh, Crosshair, I don't care as much that they changed it. Uh, they added a new location here. That's all right with me. It's fine. People don't tend to camp 
in the Toxic Valley that much, so no one's losing out there. Uh, that's it. That's my two cents.